While many believe that immense wealth should be showcased flamboyantly, this young duke, who possesses more wealth than the King of England, opts for a different approach. Unlike others in his position, he doesn't indulge in the most extravagant cars or luxurious jets. What motivates this young billionaire to lead such a simple life? Why did he forego attending the elite schools typically favoured by the aristocracy, choosing instead to study in Newcastle? In this video, we explore the remarkable humility of Hugh Grosvenor, examining how he adeptly manages the vast estates entrusted to him and delving into his heartwarming philanthropic endeavours. Despite his unassuming nature, his 21st birthday celebration garnered attention and sparked discussions. Let's delve into the details. Formerly hailed as Britain's most eligible bachelor, Hugh Grosvenor, the 7th Duke of Westminster, has revealed his engagement to Olivia Henson, his girlfriend of two years. The proposal took place at the historic Eaton Hall in Cheshire, the family seat of the Grosvenor estate. A spokesperson for the Grosvenor family conveyed the joyous news, stating, The Duke of Westminster and Miss Olivia Hanson are delighted to announce they are engaged to be married. Members of both their families are absolutely delighted with the news. On January 29, 1991, Hugh Grosvenor entered the world as a member of the esteemed Grosvenor family. But let's be clear from the outset. The Grosvenors aren't just any family. They're one of Britain's most storied aristocratic lineages, with an unbroken line of influence extending over 1,000 years. Born to Gerald Grosvenor, the sixth Duke of Westminster, and his wife Natalia, Hugh was destined for anything but an ordinary life. With the Grosvenor estate valued at a staggering £9 billion, he assumed the title of the seventh Duke of Westminster in 2016. The enormity of the responsibility that accompanies such a title and fortune is hard to fathom. Imagine a young millennial suddenly entrusted with not only immense wealth, but also an empire built over centuries. In terms of education, one might anticipate such an individual to be groomed in Britain's finest institutions from the outset. However, Hugh began his educational journey at a local estate primary school, later attending a preparatory school. He then moved on to Ellesmere College, a lesser-known public school in Shropshire, where he excelled both academically and on the cricket field. In this, Hugh adhered to a long-standing tradition, as cricket has been the aristocratic sport for generations, steeped in British customs and nobility. When the time came to choose a university, Hugh opted for Newcastle instead of the more expected Oxford or Cambridge. This decision wasn't accidental. Agriculture is at the heart of the Grosvenor estate, making his choice an example of purpose over prestige. Hugh graduated in 2013 with a degree in agriculture. While Hugh is known for his modest spending habits, his father doesn't hesitate to indulge him. For his 21st birthday in 2012, Hugh's father spared no expense, splurging a staggering £5 million on an extravagant celebration attended by high-profile guests including Prince Harry. The family's opulent residence left many of Hugh's friends in awe. Belgrave Drive, the private road leading to the house, was adorned with torches and a grand marquee treated 800 guests to steak and chips. Notable attendees included Prince Harry, a long-standing friend and a godparent to Prince George, much like Hugh's late father. The party's dress code was black tie and neon, featuring comedian Michael McIntyre, who was reportedly paid £40,000 for entertaining the guests, and the musical talents of hip-hop duo Rizzle Kicks. Champagne flowed freely, and at the stroke of midnight, the guests enjoyed a spectacular light show. Reflecting on the festivities, the Duke expressed his admiration, stating, the party was simply amazing. A birthday and a party I will never forget. After completing his education, Grosvenor embarked on a career in estate management at Wheatsheaf Group, a food and agriculture investment business based in the Eaton Estate and owned by the Grosvenor Group. He later transitioned to an account manager role at BioBean, a sustainability company transforming coffee waste into bioproducts like logs and biofuel. Following his father's passing in August 2016, Hugh inherited not only the peerages, but also a fortune estimated at £9 billion. 
alongside substantial trust funds designated for his sisters. His extensive portfolio encompasses the family seat, the 11,500-acre Eton estate, and the 23,500-acre Abbey Stead shooting estate in Lancashire. Additionally, he holds Ree Forest in Sutherland, Scotland, featuring stunning mountains and a plethora of wild deer. For a holiday retreat, Hugh can escape to his expansive 37,000-acre Finca La Garganta estate in rural Cordoba, near Seville, Spain. Let's clarify, this isn't your run-of-the-mill fortune. We're delving into an extensive property portfolio that encompasses substantial portions of Mayfair and Belgravia, two of London's most exclusive neighborhoods. This empire is divided into three formidable portfolios, Grosvenor Group, Family Office, and We Chief Group. The Grosvenor Group alone manages a staggering 11.8 billion in assets. In a country often stringent with so-called death taxes, the Grosvenors have deftly navigated the financial landscape, utilizing trusts to safeguard their assets from the brunt of Britain's inheritance tax system. Hugh Grosvenor, despite having his name associated with immense wealth, doesn't personally own these assets. He is the beneficiary of an estate trust, providing him the golden ticket to the generated income without individual ownership of the assets. As the owner and chair of trustees of the Grosvenor Group, Hugh Grosvenor is more than a custodian of ancestral wealth. He's a 21st century magnate steering an international behemoth in real estate development and investment. Forget the quaint idea of a nobleman overlooking English countryside. The Grosvenor Empire transcends the posh enclaves of Mayfair and Belgravia. Its influence spans the globe, with a portfolio stretching from Anisis Island in Vancouver, Canada, to luxury residential developments in Tokyo, Japan. The Grosvenor Estate is genuinely international, laying claim to prime real estate in Hong Kong, San Francisco, and multiple European cities. And let's dispel another myth. It's not just about glitzy buildings and sprawling estates. This is a multifaceted empire extending its reach into cutting-edge fields. Moving beyond the traditional realms of his family's historic wealth, Hugh Grosvenor's vision extends into the future. Through Grosvenor Food and AG Tex Investments in Gusto, a meal kit delivery service, and Vital, a specialist in livestock reproduction technologies, he emerges as a forward-thinking visionary. Unbound by the past, Grosvenor understands the imperative for even the grandest empires to adapt and stay relevant. Sustainability is not just a buzzword for the Grosvenor Group, it's a tangible commitment. The group's strategy invests in agri-tech startups and sustainable food ventures such as the Jackfruit Company, offering meat alternatives from Jackfruit, and Per Fresh, a company providing atmosphere systems for fresh produce transport. These investments go beyond mere financial diversification. They're calculated bets on the future of food production. Now assuming the role of owner and chair of trustees of the Grosvenor Group, a global real estate development and investment company, Hugh Grosvenor manages a diverse portfolio spanning Europe, Asia, and North America. His reach extends beyond property, with investments in innovative food and agricultural technology companies. Despite holding a status that warrants public attention, Grosvenor has mastered the delicate art of balancing societal obligations with a fervent commitment to safeguarding his private life. This unique approach allows him to dedicate time to weighty responsibilities, including serving as the chair of trustees for both the Grosvenor Group and the Westminster Foundation. In a world eager for insights into aristocratic life, Hugh remains an enigma, largely untouched by public scrutiny. Hugh Grosvenor is set to wed Olivia Henson at Chester Cathedral in June. The wedding, scheduled for June 7, 2024, holds significance at the cathedral due to its beauty and the long-standing association it holds with the Grosvenor family, especially the Duke personally. As Cheshire is the ancestral home of the Grosvenors and Miss Henson's ties to the region deepen, the couple is eager to celebrate their union there. The future Duchess of Westminster, Olivia Henson, completed her studies in Hispanic Studies and Italian at Trinity College in 2016 and currently works for Bellazu, a gourmet food company. 
The guest list for the wedding is expected to include several members of the royal family, such as King Charles, Queen Camilla, and the Prince and Princess of Wales. Notably, Prince Harry is reported to be uninvited, sparking media speculation. Contrary to initial assumptions that the Duke excluded the Sussexes, it is now revealed that it was Prince Harry's decision. Prince William, a close friend of Hugh Grosvenor, is considered a potential best man at the wedding. Despite the rift between William and Harry, Hugh Grosvenor aims to prevent any awkwardness or overshadowing of the event, prioritizing a joyful celebration for Olivia. Hugh Grosvenor serves as the Chair of Trustees for the Westminster Foundation, a charitable organization dedicated to aiding a vulnerable youth and their families through initiatives focused on local communities, educational opportunities, and combating inequality. Additionally, he maintains support for the DNRC, the Defense and National Rehabilitation Center, an organization founded by his father to assist wounded British military veterans. During the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Grosvenor demonstrated his philanthropy by contributing £12.5 million to the national COVID relief effort and NHS support. Furthermore, he donated £1 million to the University of Oxford to finance research projects in the field of mental health and psychology. Hugh Grosvenor transcends the conventional image of a wealthy nobleman. He stands as an emblem of what the aristocracy could become in an era clamoring for change, provided they play their cards right. Not every family opts for the modest lifestyle embraced by the Groveners. Click on the next video on your screen to discover more about another aristocratic family managing considerable wealth.